welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of Shondo on the Go. I'm here at Citrix Synergy. I made my way over to the Cisco booth where I'm standing with my very good friend, Mike Brennan. Mike, welcome. John, thanks. Thanks for having us. Everybody knows Cisco, but everybody may not know Cisco Hyperflex. So I'm hoping you can kind of give me the high flyby of Hyperflex. You bet. So Hyperflex is our newest product line. It is hyperconverged computing. It includes storage, network, and compute all in one package. Okay. So Hyperflex is built on Cisco UCS. So it has all the benefits that UCS offers the marketplace, and it adds that hyperconvergence layer where we can combine network, storage, and compute all in one box. And the way Hyperflex works is you take at least three nodes and you form a storage cluster. And that cluster gives you the ability to share all the storage on each of those nodes as one storage object. Okay. So that's the benefit to the customer. The other cool benefit of Hyperflex is you can start small with only three nodes and you can add capacity of one node at a time. Yeah. And a Cisco differentiator in the hyperconvergence space is that you can not only add hyperconverged nodes, you can add compute only nodes. So for workloads like Citrix apps and desktops, yeah. which are compute and memory intensive, and not really highly storage intensive, you can get a mix of hyperconverged nodes with compute only nodes. Right. What's the advantage to the customer? Lower cost on the compute only nodes. Yeah. Back when VDI was first rolling out, we'd have to go and we'd have to source every layer of the VDI stack, right? From network storage, compute on up. Are you really telling me that we're collapsing those layers into one appliance? We are. We leverage UCS. In case somebody doesn't know what UCS is, Good what's point. the acronym? Unified Computing System. Okay. We launched that product 10 years ago. It was really the first software-defined data center platform out there. It allows you to create policy with network folks, storage folks, compute folks, combine those policies into what we call a service profile, and the service profile defines the personality of the hardware. Yeah. The same is true with Hyperflex. So we get that ability to bring them all together. Yeah. And then our networking technology, our virtual interface cards, allow a single cable to carry all the traffic. Fiber channel, fiber channel over Ethernet, iSCSI, or Ethernet. And now with our later generations of the technology, we can go 10, 25, 40, and 100 gigs okay. out of the fabric. So really simplify the whole stack. Is this wizard based driven? So I kick it off and I start through a wizard to get the setup? What it's built on is to let those subject matter experts, the network guys, the storage yeah. guys, and the compute guys, to all define their own policy for how they want a particular application to work. Okay. You know, apps and desktops is an example. Yeah. Those guys put those policies together, it gets combined into a service profile, and then when the server is connected to our system, the system identifies the components in the server and says, ah, an apps and desktop server, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. So we automatically download our service profile to the machine, so once it's plugged in, 20 minutes later, it's ready for the hypervisor install. Yeah. In the case of Hyperflex, we ship the product with the hypervisor already installed, either VMware ESX or Hyper-V. Okay, and 3D graphic images like what we're seeing here, Windows 10, all of that, bada bing, bada boom, good to go. Bada bing, bada boom. So okay. we can add the graphics cards that are required to our compute only nodes, and yeah. we can add them to our hyperconverged nodes. Okay, I'm getting the wrap up from our producer here, Mike, but I have to say this, I am hyper for hyper flex. <laughs> uh, if you guys want to trademark that, that's okay. Get your marketing okay. folks on that. But if other people are like me and they want more information, where are we going to point them to? Well, there's a good website that you can go to, accelerateandsimplify.com. All right, Mike, one question coming at you from left field. You ready? You got I'm it. Not prep for this one. Okay. If you had Tony Stark's money from the Avenger movies, what would you buy? His suit. His suit. Yeah. All right. I'd love to be able to fly around like that guy. That'd be awesome. All right. Well, I have a suit, but it doesn't let me fly, and it did not cost that much money. <laughs> All right, cool. Mike, thanks for being here, buddy. Sean, I pleasure appreciate talking to you. it. You bet. That does it for this edition of Shondo on the Go from the Cisco booth at Citrix Synergy. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. So long.